As the children get older, uh, how do you help them think about taking responsibility for their own medicines? Uh, are you concerned uh, oh, about and, and abuse, medication abuse, uh, substance abuse? I mean, how do you think about that whole question? Because younger kids, they're handed their medicine. Yeah. Let, back up and take the big picture in just terms of the transition from different ages. It, it's an area that kind of fascinates me that if you think about childhood and significant transition periods, you have one that comes with the beginning of middle school, high school, end of high school, and beginning of college. And for each of those, you have to take an approach in terms of helping the child take the next step in terms of the management of this illness. Oftentimes, I'll think about it and, and discuss uh, with parents that it's similar to a child with diabetes who, over the first years of their illness, seven to, to 12, mother's been checking their blood sugars and giving them shots. And at some point in that, the child begins to take responsibility mm -hmm. for that process. Usually the early years of adolescence are the most difficult with that in terms of helping or you know, aiding that child to taking to the transition to taking so responsibility. So we're talking 11, 12, 13? Uh, yeah, around there, maybe a little 13, 14, 15. Mm -hmm. um, another period of uh, vulnerability is uh, just at the end of high school and the transition to college. Because you know, within high school, at least, child may be managing their own medicine to some way, but still under the kind of overall umbrella and observation of the parent. And when they go off to school, it falls fully on them. Um, and uh, a number of things in terms of medication and also just scheduling that oftentimes we'll begin to talk with the parents and the child about our older adolescent as they- So are you get, ready to run your own education, the executive functioning it takes to map out your course schedule, your homework, your assignments. When to study, when to socialize. Do when you to need tutoring? What supports can you put in place? Exactly. Right?